Last week I found this sweet 1995 Ibis Mojo titanium mm. frame down in Seattle, brought it home and started to put it together. This week we've got quite a bit of a challenge on our hands. We've gotta find a tire that's gonna fit within that old frame but still be tubeless. I've also gotta hang the drivetrain and get a few more of the controls dialed in on the bike. And if it all goes well, maybe we can pedal around a little bit and get a first look at how this bike might handle in the dirt. Let's open this box, it came from WTB, and I think it's gonna have a couple crucial items to really do this build right. Check this out, original 1995-ish WTB SST tie rail saddle. This is rare, this came straight from Mark Slate, original co-founder of WTB and current co-owner. Thank you, Mark. It looks like Mark also sent two tires for the build. 26 inch tubeless. We got a Nano 2.1, which is not necessarily 100% time period correct, but it should work rad. And he sent the super rare and very fondly remembered Mutano 2.2. Both these tires look awesome, but I think the Mutano 2.2 is gonna be a little bit more robust, so I wanna try that tire first. I always feel kind of funny taking apart a wheel that's perfectly fine, hoping that the next wheel works just as well, because this single speed wheel lasted me for years and years. This feels so wrong, but I'm gonna do it anyhow. I just got super lucky. I intercepted my neighbor. He happened to have an old hub on hand, and for 10 bucks, it's mine. Pretty rad how butter smooth this old free hub and the bearings are. XTR has always been really nice stuff. I just happen to have a Shimano 11 speed, 11 to 42 tooth cassette right here, as well as an 11 speed XT chain. This is an M950 hub built for eight speed. I just put an 11 speed cassette on here with no issues. Hopefully it'll build up and fit the spokes okay. The bike shop needed two weeks to build this wheel, so I went ahead and just bought the spokes. I am not a wheel building expert, but I got my wheel built. Shout out to the guys at Orange Seal. I'm a huge fan of this sealant. Hopefully this 20 year old tire seats on this rim. Let's see. Hey, I think we seated it. Check that out. Honestly, this Mutano 2.2 tire looks a little bit wide for the frame, so fingers crossed it actually fits in here. Let's see. Ooh! I don't have gobs and gobs of tire clearance, but I have enough to get the bike well rideable, probably even to some rainy conditions too, so this is gonna work. I have some Shimano XT cranks that I think will work really well on this bike. On a bike this old and rare, I get really nervous about stripping out the bottom bracket threads because it'd be easy to cross thread. So carefully doing these hand tight at first to make sure they don't cross thread and ruin the sweet frame. What am I thinking? I just took the disc brake rotor off this front wheel in order to put on cantilever brakes. I got some rad Neo Retro cantilevers from Paul Components. Thank you, Paul. What in the heck am I thinking? Cantilever brakes in 2018? Yikes. The bike's mostly together. Let's take it for the first spin. This is the first ride on the Mojo Tie. I'm excited and a little terrified. I've never really ridden cantilever brakes off-road. I'm so excited to drop in on this thing. This is gonna be a treat. Don't have much of the brakes. of the Mojo Tie Vlog, I want to get this bike onto some more gnarly trails and really get after it in the dirt. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite kind of vintage bike. And if you like this build, click that subscribe button below.